All right, so at this point, you guys should have your uh, font already in there. And we're gonna move on to now designing the shape that goes around your name. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on the paintbrush and kind of get that little thing out of there for a second, right? You can just tap on it to make it show up or go away. And then I'm going to go over on my left controls down the left side of my screen and I'm gonna tap on that arrow at the top and notice that that's, again, that's the selector. So I can move this anywhere I want. I can make the box smaller or larger um, and that's how you select that. Okay, so now we wanna add some shapes. So let's go down to the shape designer, which is right underneath the text box on the left-hand side. So it's a little further than halfway. So it is a rectangle. And if you tap on it twice, you will see a bunch of other shapes that pop up. So you can use a rectangle. There's what, a, uh, is that a pentagon, circle, star, line, or swirl. For this step, you do not want to use the line or the swirl, okay? Um, I'm gonna tap on the pentagon and notice a new thing pops up there. So it says five and it's showing at the top like what shape I'm gonna make. So I can go ahead and draw that shape over on my um, design. And I mean, that looks okay. I think I wanna try some other things, but I don't know that I wanna keep that. So how do you get rid of something if you add it and you don't want it? look near the top left of your screen, there's a little trash can. Now I'm selected on the shape I wanna get rid of. If you're not, use the selector arrow, tap on it, right, tap on it, and then hit the trash can and it will go away. Um, and if you wanna undo that, I just hit the, oops, sorry. I just hit the X in the upper left, it extended and there is a back arrow, okay? And so then that can bring back my shape. I can delete it again hitting the forward arrow if I'm like, nope, I really do wanna get rid of that. Um, so that's how you undo things. Okay, so I'm gonna keep designing my shape. So I'm gonna tap on that shape maker underneath the text on the left-hand side. I think I want to add more points to it. So I'm gonna scroll up and look, now I'm gonna add a decagon. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I like that. Okay, so obviously it's not in the right spot. It's completely filled in with black, that's not gonna work. So now we need to adjust those things. So to do all of those adjustments, we're gonna hit the paintbrush tool again. And the fill, we actually need to shut the fill off because um, if you sent this to the laser cutter right now, it would engrave that whole shape, meaning you wouldn't be able to see your name engraved on it. So I'm gonna hit the eyeball next to fill and then I want to go down a little bit further to um, the next item on there on the right hand side. It's called stroke and stroke in design is referring to an outline of something. OK, so right now stroke is turned off. You can see that there's like the little checkerboard in there with the little um, eyedropper. The red line is through it. We want to turn it back on. So I'm going to hit the eyeball next to stroke that has the line through it and I'm going to turn it on. And I want the stroke, I'm gonna tap in the, um, the oval that's black, I'm gonna tap there, and I wanna make the stroke red. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna just go to the, my selector tool and tap somewhere else on my screen, and notice now my stroke is red. Now when I tap on it, it does turn black when it's selected, so it's kind of confusing, um, but really, if I tap elsewhere, it really is red. Okay, so I really like this shape. I think that this is awesome. I think that that is the shape that I'd like to use for my keychain. And notice I went to my selector arrow on the very top left of those items and I moved it around so that my name is exactly where I want it to go um, on my keychain. Okay, so that is how you design um, shapes, your shape for your keychain.